リオで英語版のハウルを見てきましたがあのビートドクターさんをはじめ本当によくやってくれて感激してます<笑> I saw the English dub version and I'm very very thankful to Pete and also John and everybody who worked on that version thank you very much あの今度の映画は、えー、ちょっと今までと違う映画なんであの少し混乱が起こるかもしれませんが彼女に喋ると思います。So um, I have made a lot of、um, films that are associated with sorceries and art of magics, but the rule for this for rule for rule for sorcery for this film is that I was truth to my heart. So because of that, that may confuse you. But、uh, uh, I hope that you will enjoy the film. So, you are going to stop your comments. Please enjoy the film. Thank you very much. Now, a few words. I do want to say,、um, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but、uh, Pete Doctor、uh, co directed all the voices. Um, and the English language version, and and helped with the translation and directed all that, and it did a phenomenal job. And I just want to give Pete his. Pete, you want to say a little about the English language version? One other difference that you'll see in from the original, in Japanese, there is one actor who plays Sophie. In all age ranges, because she's, and I hope this isn't giving anything away, she starts as a 19 year old and、uh, becomes 90. And、um, one actor played all the parts. Here we had Gene Simmons, not the Kiss Rockstar, <laughs> who played the、uh, Grandma Sophie. And we listened to her older films,、uh, like、uh, Spartacus and whatnot, and found an actor who sounded like a young Gene Simmons, and that was Emily Mortimer. We had Lauren Bacall, which hadn't seen the film when she recorded the, the voice, and、uh, we were trying to prepare her because the character in the film is the Witch of the Waste, which is kind of, she's, you know, a lot of. Rolls of flat fat and sweat and things, and we're trying to prepare her. Look, you know, the character is sort of, she's maybe a little despicable. And she said, Darling, I was born to play despicable. Miyazaki <laughs> san, I understand you got to meet Lauren Bacall in New York. You may be done at that time. 前には妻がいるとかって聞かれて、残念ながらいると答えました。It was like a, it was like I was in my dream, and she actually asked me, "Do you have a wife?" じゃあ僕があのその場の証言をいたします。あのローレンバーコールはですね、ミヤさんに対してお前はね、私のネクストハズバンドだって言いました。So I witnessed when Lauren told a Miyazaki san. That he would be my next husband. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, everyone, without further ado, we're proud to present House Moving Castle. <laughs> Mizaki san, he's alive in me. There's Suzuki san, Mizaki san, me, and there's this is my, my mother and father's house. To me, as I see, this is my, my corner. Yeah. It's my Mizaki san altar, you know. So, how are you feeling now about that nice surprise? Well, I am feeling very happy about the nice surprise.、Um, I would, am here at Pixar. Working very, 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 very hard on cars. And I get a call in my meeting, and they said, Oh, you have a special guest here. And I knew that Suzuki san was coming to visit me today. Who could it be? And I went, I had, No. <laughs> It said, Really? Mizaki san? So I ran out, and there he was. Mizaki san surprised me. And so that was one of the best surprises I've had in a long, long time. Because I, 
loved Miyazaki-san, and uh, so it was it was great. And then and then they gave me a big present. Is that the present? And then I opened it up, and they gave me a a the head and two paws from the cat bus, and so that was very exciting. It's really great, and I'm going to put it. See. Uh, that wall right there is going to go away in my office. I'm going to put it. I have to build a whole other room for the cat bus now. So, so thank you. I get a bigger office because of the cat bus. I'm very proud of the English language version of Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, it is, I think it's the best English language dub of any foreign film I've ever seen. Um, I think that the folks down at, at Disney did a wonderful job, and myself and Pete Doctor here at Pixar helped out in doing this. And Pete did a wonderful job in directing the actors. And there, you know, I think since uh, since Spirited Away um, was was he released in the United States, it has created a a, a, a large following for Miyazaki-san's work. And since then, they've released on DVD most of Miyazaki-san's film. So there's a lot of people, a lot more Miyazaki fans in the United States now than there was when Spirited Away was released. And so we were able to get these fantastic American actors and actresses. What's interesting is, is I was working on the English language version, and we, would, we were at the sound mix, and we were mixing the sound. And we all... Every time we were mixing, we'd be playing back one portion of the film or reel. And you sit there, and you just get lost in the story. And I stopped listening to the levels. I was just carried away by the story. It happened to me time and time again. This film is just gets better every time you see it, too. And I am, I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. I, you know, it's one of those things that I'm so happy to be able to help Studio Ghibli and Misaki-san to help bring the, his films to the United States, to the English-speaking world. I'm very, very excited, and I'm extremely proud uh, to be a part of Howl's Moving Castle. Howl's Moving Castle, I think, is one of the best films made by Miyazaki-san ever. Um, it is so... Um, it's so captivating. It's so magical. Uh, but the setting of it is one of my... F I love when Miyazaki-san does settings in, in sort of the European setting. And, and how he does... He takes the technology of like steam trains and the flying machines and all that stuff. And, and this one takes it to, to new levels, you know. It, it, with the castle itself, you know, with the little castle itself um, and, and how it moves. It's so magical yet so believable. And I think that the, like the the door, the 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 portal to the different cities was such a an, a, a fantastic idea. You know, when you go see a movie, you're lucky if you can see in a film one new idea, one idea you've never thought of before. In Miyazaki's film, in each of his films, there's like six, seven, eight, nine, ten ideas that are so original and new. But Howl's Moving Castle, with a moving castle and the door that takes you to different places, that is so fantastic. And so it's such a wonderful new idea that, that that's really magical. And I, I love it because I, I just am so carried away when I watch this film. Sophie, you know, she got the spell and she became old. But then later on, at times she was young and old and young and old. And the first time through, I was trying to figure out sort of, okay, what makes her young, what makes her old? And then, you know, as I watched it again and we started working on the, um, the English language version, it, it really be became clear to me that, that she, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's her heart, it's, it's, this passion, this love that she has for Hal, and just you know, in general, you know, it just makes it, her goodness comes out. And when that happens, it's, it's that she she is she is young again. And I just thought it was so magical and so wonderful. You know, it's one of those those really clever ideas that Miyazaki 
comes up with. It's interesting to talk to different people, and they have different interpretations of it. And that's what's so special about his films, you know? They're not just exactly the way. They make you think. Miyazaki's films always make you think. And that's what's so special about them. And that's why they're, they, they get better. It's like a fine wine. They get better with age because you keep watching them and you understand them more and more. And that's what I just love about them. And they just, they'll live on forever.